call for crews are those high winds and then the low relative humidity we're experiencing out there too. So especially along the I-5 corridor, you can see up in Gorman where that post fire is burning, we are dealing with this red flag warning still in effect. It has been extended through tomorrow. So we're going to continue to see really dangerous conditions, uh, very fire prone weather over the next day or so. Speaking of those high winds, that's why we have this high war wind warning still in effect in addition to several wind advisories across the area. So we're talking about wind anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour. Those are sustained wind speeds and gusts close to 60 miles per hour. So very concerning fire weather as we head into the next 24 hours. Now up near those fires, you can see winds still a top concern and even toward the coast, pretty breezy for us this afternoon. Many of you in the teens, but Fraser Park, Gorman, we're talking about winds too Upwards much to 30. start the week. We'll see that mix of sun and clouds. It's not until we get to next weekend that we're going to notice a nice warm up on the way. High pressure will move in. Low 80s for LA and Orange for you this weekend. Finally, the deserts, we're talking about gusts 50 miles per hour today, 90s by end of week, and then triple digits.